we should always love our parents sometimes we are busy growing up and we often forget they are also growing old welcome back children this is part 3 of chapter number 17 pronouns and today we will discuss about another types of pronouns that is possessive pronoun let's begin okay children see page number 58 possessive pronouns now look at these examples the book belongs to me the book is mine now children in this sentence the noun is book and the book belongs to me it means the book is mine the doll belongs to you now in this sentence the noun is doll and who is the owner of this doll the doll belongs to you means the doll is yours the red purse belongs to her so the purse is hers the house belongs to us who is the owner of this house we are the owner of this house us the house belongs to us means the house is ours now children possessive pronouns are pronouns that show possession or ownership means it shows that who or what owns something so children the pronouns mine your his hers its ours theirs are known as possessive pronouns they show ownership remember this thing children that possessive pronouns do not come before a noun they stand alone means we cannot have a noun after any possessive pronouns for example this is your house now in this sentence the noun is house and before this noun we have used the word your that is a possessive adjective now look here mine is at the end of the road now here mine that is a possessive pronoun and after this possessive pronoun no noun has been used now see this example this is your house yes the noun is house and before this noun we have used the word your that is a possessive adjective now see this example my house is at the end of the road now the word my that is a possessive pronoun and in this sentence i have used house that is a noun after possessive pronoun that is incorrect so children remember this thing that whenever there is a possessive pronoun we do not use any noun after possessive pronoun so this is the correct way to use possessive pronoun this is your house mine is at the end of the road now possessive adjectives that we will do later in our next class now children see the difference between its and its if its is used with an apostrophe it means it is a contraction of it is or it has and if its is used without an apostrophe means it is a possessive adjective we use to say that something belongs to or refers to something now see this example it's important to study before an exam now in this sentence i have used its with an apostrophe here its with an apostrophe means it is it is a contraction of it is it's important to study before an exam 
Now see this example. Don't judge a book by its cover. Now here in this sentence, I have used its without an apostrophe. It means it is a possessive adjective. And after its, the noun is also there, cover. So it means it is not in possessive pronoun. It is a possessive adjective. Understood? Look at this table, children. It will help you to understand the types of pronoun which we learned till now. Subject pronoun. These pronouns we use before the verb yes in the subject's place and these they are the doer of the action. The pronouns I, you, he, she, it are used in the singular form. And the pronouns we, you and they are used in the plural form. Object pronouns. Object pronouns we use after the verb in the predicates part. And they are affected by the action of the doer. Me, you, him, her and it are used in the singular form. Us, you, them are used in the plural form. Possessive pronoun. Yes, we now discussed what possessive pronouns are. Yes, possessive pronouns are those pronouns that show possession or ownership. The pronouns mine, yours, his, hers, its are used as singular form. Ours, yours and theirs are used in the plural form. See this examples, children. I completed the task. Now here, I is a subject pronoun which is used before the verb in the subject part. He gave him a book. Now here, she. She is doing an action. Yes, this is a subject pronoun and which is used before the verb. And she gave him. Him is an object pronoun which is used after the verb in the predicate part. The car is theirs. Now, the car belongs to them. So, theirs is a possessive pronoun which is used without an apostrophe. Understood? So, go through this table. children see exercise G which is on page number 58 fill in the blanks using the words from the box some of them can be used twice now children in this box the words are given which are possessive pronoun and you have to use this words words and fill in the blanks number one the houses are lying along the street dash is the one on left mine here I have used the possessive pronoun mine. Number two, that blue scarf on the table is dash. The blue scarf on the table is hers. You can use it here. His. Any pronoun you can use. Number three, my hair is very fine. Dash is much thicker. Yours is much thicker. You can use here his or hers. Any pronoun you can use. Okay. So, try to get the pronouns of this exercise. Yes, children. Always be with your parents. Make them feel proud and happy. Spend time with them. Bye-bye. Good day.